Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today it's the first year of the American Silver Eagle one dollar. This is the coin that's not a circulating coin, it's a bullion coin. If we get it over to the back we see that it says United States of America around the top, one ounce or OZ fine silver here and one dollar. So you may be able to find a 1986 mint state coin. If you can get up to proof 70, you'd be talking about a thousand dollars or more. When this first came out in 1986, the value of one ounce of silver was five dollars and 25 cents and they sold these for between six and seven dollars. So they made a little bit of money on them. Of course, now the silver value is much, much higher than that and they're selling them for much, much more than that. In 1985, the U.S. Congress authorized the U.S. Mint to sell bullion coins and they specified where the silver had to come from and how it had to be done. You probably recognize the image on the front of it if you've seen some of the older half dollars. Of course, this is the Walking Liberty half dollar, which they stopped making in 1947. Adolf A. Wyman engraving, and they kept the engraving pretty much exactly from the half dollar coins. So it says Liberty around the top. It says in God we trust back here. Down here it says 1986, and it's Lady Liberty walking with a flag behind her holding a bouquet of oak and other branches with the sun coming up at her feet. This is a really familiar design for many people because they've seen the French design of the sower. 1986 they made them in two different types. They made the, the mint state ones and they made 5.4 million of those and then they made proof coins. They made 1.45 million of those. In many countries if their mint releases a coin it has to have some intrinsic value. In other words you have to be able to spend the coin or turn it in to a bank or to the U.S. Mint. In this case the intrinsic value is one dollar even though it's worth much much more than that. This is not a monetized or circulating coin but they still have to put that one dollar value on there. And if we go to the back we see that there's an initial on the back too and you can see the J and the M right down here. If we magnify it out we see that there are 13 stars up here. There is a banner that goes across E Pluribus on this side, Unum on this side, Eagle holding a banner in its beak just like the U.S. quarter design. And then it's the shielded eagle and the eagle is holding the arrows and the olive branch. So the design is really taken directly from previous American design. So we got this one but in the past we'd also gotten one from Australia which is and this is another bullion coin and you can see this is, has Queen Elizabeth on it and the Australian one has the kangaroo. We also got a two pound coin from Great Britain and this is the 2018 two pound coin from Great Britain. This is the two dragons design on this particular one and again it's this is one ounce of fine silver and this is kind of strange because the coin from Great Britain or the United Kingdom is a two pound coin but they actually have a two pound coin and this is the um, United Kingdom two pound coin with Queen Elizabeth on the front. So in the United Kingdom they still have to give uh, these coins of value also and this particular one they gave it the two pound value so it's worth the same as this even though it's really a one ounce silver coin worth much more. Mexico, Apmex has them from Mexico and you'll see that if these coins as they age do get some patina sometimes. This is a 2017 Mexico coin and you'll notice one thing about the Mexico coin is it doesn't have a value on it. So the Mexican government does not require their mint to put a circulating value on their coins. Just the beautiful eagle with the snake design on the back. And then finally of course Canada has the maple leaf and this is one of the most widely traded or widely purchased silver coins in the world. The Canada Maple Leaf fine silver one ounce 0.9999% pure and then of course on the front you'll see this is a 2011 and Canada gives it a five dollar value. The Royal Canadian Mint has to put a value on their coins too and so this one is five dollars. But getting back to this walking liberty. We see that 1986 was the first year that they made them but they continue to make them and now the modern coins they also make them besides Philadelphia 
in San Francisco, they also have some West Point W modern American silver eagles. One of the reasons that people do make these coins out of silver is that they're exchangeable in any country in the world. They're not exchangeable for the added value that the coin gives to them, but they're certainly exchangeable for one ounce of silver no matter where you go. They sell it for many, many countries. Samoa, South Africa, Chad, Armenia, Fiji, Spain, of course, US, Mexico, Great Britain. These coins do appreciate over time. In other words, they get more valuable. Because 1986 was the first year, it probably appreciates more than some of the other years or gets worth more. One of the things you can do with these coins is actually get them graded by PCGS or NGC. Even though all of them look really good, some of them can be worth much more. That's all we have for today from DC Coin World. There's our old half dollar. There's the kangaroo. There is the snake. There's the maple leaf. And here is the two dragons coin. So look for these at Atmex. They are great coins to have. Atmex investments you can hold. And many people like to invest in silver by buying these coins rather than buying the silver bullion in bars. Have a great day. We'd love to have you subscribe to the DC Coinwell channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.